From his humble beginnings as a jeepney driver to becoming a successful entrepreneur and now serving his community as board member of the 5th District of Batanga City, Mr. Arthur Bart Blanco owns and operates a beautiful dates farm in Palete, Batangas. But this farm is so much more than just date palms. It's a gorgeous, sprawling estate complete with animals of all kinds, a vintage car collection, poolside residences, and much, much more. Come with me as I explore Rancho Blanco. I was fortunate to receive a personal tour of Rancho Blanco with Bart himself showing me the beautiful gardens on the property. Working with architects who bring his visionary designs to life, Mr. Blanco can build just about anything he can think of. Just get the design, then uh, we built it. Okay. It's no wonder that Rancho Blanco has also become such a popular wedding destination and film location here in the Philippines. Bart's assistant Anne is going to show me how the dates farm operates. It all begins with these special buto or seeds, which are of the Kalas variety, imported from the U.S. and the Middle East. The caretaker plants these seeds and grows them into seedlings, which eventually grow large enough to be planted as whole trees. These palm trees have infinite uses, from landscaping for parks, roads, and commercial establishments, to subdivisions, hotels, and even your own backyard. So even though they don't collect the dates uh, necessarily to eat, they use them as seeds for seedlings. Um, I was just told that there are some that we might be able to try and we could actually eat and see how they taste. So unfortunately, we're actually at the end of the season for dates, at least here on the farm and here in the Philippines. So almost all the dates are gone and all the edible dates uh, have already been picked and um, I was told that they're very good and they're very sweet. Unfortunately, I can't try them today, but um, we'll just have to use our imagination. There's a lot of animals to see here. Uh, we have goats, horses, ostriches, um, birds. We're gonna see some pigs first on our tour of the farm. Not only do we have goats here, we also have baby goats, so we'll have to see the baby goats, right? This is not a bad idea, but Anne is encouraging me to get on the horse and she wants to show me how to ride, so let's see what happens. making our way over to where the bird uh, sanctuary is and we're gonna see some of these beautiful birds that uh, Mr. Blanco has. All right, let's go check it out.
into this enclosure and play with the African gray parrots. I'm a little bit scared, but let's see what happens. Apparently they're very playful, so let's see if they want to say hi. I won't bite, I promise. If you don't bite me, ayan, that's what we'll pull. Okay, that works. It doesn't hurt. No, it actually, it feels kind of good. You know, it's like a, a nice relaxing massage. <laughs> Okay, so Puya is giving me a, a little piece of banana and I'm gonna try to feed the macaws now. Let's see if they're hungry and if they want to eat. Okay. In addition to his personal collection of vintage cars, like this 1948 DeSoto, Mr. Blanco also has a special vehicle. He's got his own monster truck. I got to ride in it. Mr. Blanco takes the monster truck Bigfoot to car shows and competes uh, with other monster trucks. So you can tell it's kind of like his baby. This is like his, you know, his show, his show truck. There's so many exciting things happening here at Rancho Blanco. Houses, an event center, and hotel, and even a steak restaurant are all under construction right now with the hopes of opening to the public in 2023. I'd like to thank Mr. Bart Blanco for his kindness and hospitality and for sharing Rancho Blanco with me today. Maraming salamat po.